thought that he would tell me, but he didn't say it. It's all right. I came here to enjoy this place and to seize the day. So maybe when you get here too, we'll spend some time in love. I saw her going down the hill I saw it in my dreams I saw her take another pill She killed the pain it seems I'd love to be with you When you celebrate your life And oh, how I'll miss you Like a knife. Thank you everybody for listening to this presentation, um, for this, well, for this song, for listening to this song. Thank you for listening to this story is kind of what I what I meant to say, what I wanted to say. Uh, the story is a kind of a complex one. Today I'm capturing this story in this format to tell you um, a little bit about a personal circumstance that I've been going through. And if you've watched many of these videos on my channel, you already kind of know the backstory. Um, today was a um, somber day for a good portion of my family. Um, I say that because I believe that a lot of people do have feelings that are genuine for one another. Uh, and we recently had a passing in our family, and today were the services for this individual and this individual's relative reached out to me several times to let me know when services were going to be. Um, and although I'd like to have been with my family uh, while they were celebrating her life, uh, I certainly do not miss being run through like a knife and and for that reason I didn't go to the services now today itself I saw several advertised and targeted um, articles about whether or not you should attend services for the loss of someone and I know that some of those advertisements came up, those targeted stories came up because I've been talking about this circumstance here and there. Like, should I go to this? Should I stay or should I go? <laughs> if, I, if I decided to go, there definitely could have been trouble, more so than if I stayed wherever I might have been. And the reason for that is because we have a very volatile situation in our family where someone literally has lashed out in physical aggression against someone else within the family um, quite recently. And for that reason, for that reason, and because of my, whatever my pivotal piece in this puzzle is, causes some of these demonstrations. So I distanced myself from this activity, which is something that's been carried, carried out in the old ways, you know, full of 
uh, customs, customary uh, circumstances where we put chemicals into a body and have this demonstration where we showcase how much we miss this person and then where we bury uh, valuable resources along with the remains of our loved ones. These are practices that we oftentimes overlook and don't really recognize as participating in rituals. Like after this service, I'm sure there were opportunities to eat foods with one another. Not sure how the qualities of the foods were, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the only reason I bring food and quality into the equation is because some of the circumstances that we've been participating in for far too long are the reason for the passing of my loved one. Uh, the quality of the calories that we were consuming might not have been commensurate with the actual amount of joy that we wanted to uh, share with one another. So for that reason, again, I stayed where I was, which could have been anywhere, and I actually um, took care of things that I could actually take care of. If I'm no longer someone who, whose voice or even whose listening abilities are valued among the people who are gathering to celebrate the life of a loved one, then perhaps all of those memories that I have with that loved one are not necessary in the conversations that are occurring within those circles. On the other hand, it's possible that all of my contributions are more than well known in those circles and so equally known should be the fact that the person who passed away, their son wrongfully helped their mother and all of her siblings to take over the property of my father, who was mentally disturbed enough to have set fire to his own home not too long in the past. And when that occurred, and when my father went to rehab for help, when all of that occurred, somehow, someone, probably because of their former position of authority, was able to take my dad from the place where he was getting help and hide him from me for over a month while they transferred his property into their name and divided that up. And probably at a loss to most of the siblings, I might add, because this cousin of mine who took the house, probably only because of their former position of authority, this cousin of mine, family, this cousin of mine had done some bad things that make me wonder what else he did while he was in those positions of authority. In many cases, especially on this channel, I've verbalized, vocalized, and definitely not marginalized the actions of our authority figures as sometimes having been careless. This isn't to out anybody. This isn't to get vengeance on anybody. This is because we are going through a circumstance where other people may have some illnesses in their families, some uneasiness, some dis-ease, disease. And when we have disease in our family, 
we might not want to get into close proximity and share the same foods. Uh, let's just be open about it. Air, we could get ill. We could get COVID, just as an example. I'm not saying it exists or doesn't exist, or it can hurt us or doesn't hurt us, or it can happen at a, as, at a circumstance like that or not happen. What I'm saying is, when we get a lot of illness together, we might run into a circumstance where that dis-ease presents itself in sometimes volatile ways. If, for an example, someone in my family set fire to a house and was about to set fire to themselves, and now they're just standing around in a group while they're feeling emotionally disturbed more so than normal, it might be possible that some even more radical occurrences could happen. And in a lot of cases, I feel like I've been the trigger behind these conversational opportunities that continue to, I wanted to say stifles, continue to provide challenges for many of our people. For me, it seems easy to say, I'd love to be with you when you celebrate her life. But oh, how I'll miss you when you run me through like a knife. It seems easy to say that when the opportunity presented itself, I actually went to the track and went for a run today seems easy to say that I had the opportunity to get fresh peaches from Fredericksburg, and so I took advantage of doing that, noticing that the wildflowers were all so beautiful right now, recognizing how bountiful the fruit must be right now, and how all those nutrients, how potent all that nutrition is right now. I went ahead and made a priority of taking care of what I could take care of. If you are seeking someone else, someone else's care, you might want to consider that person's self-care interests and recognize what kind of energy you're putting out into their direction. And if you're robbing those people directly, you can't hardly expect them to show up and give you positive energy. Although I would, if I were there. The only reason I wasn't there is because, again, I thought that the person who would tell me that there was a passing in my family would be the person most closely related to me. It didn't happen. I thought he would tell me, but he didn't say, it's okay. So I came here to enjoy this place and to seize the day. So maybe when you get here too, we'll spend the time in love and maybe when we get time to, we'll give thanks to the above. The honest truth about this circumstance is that I've been journaling dreams for as long as I can remember in the not too distant past. For the past several years, I should say. And although I've temporarily been unable to recall my dreams for a couple of weeks now, I knew in advance the day that this person would pass away only because I dreamed that I was in, I was at the wake and I didn't belong there. Nobody really knew who I was, how to talk with me. I had taken three guitars. They were sitting in three different places and the guitars were being fumbled around with like someone who 
didn't know how to operate that instrument was handling it. They were banging it on tables, damaging, damaging the instruments. In a lot of cases, we don't put a lot of care into the instruments that we're given, including our own bodies. I'm not immune from any of that. I'm not saying that I stand apart from anyone else who's done anything so careless. What I'm suggesting is that the things that we're practicing and the rate at which we are practicing these things might not coincide with some of the clues that were left for us in these books of peace that we now oftentimes overlook as sorcery. When people talk about dreams and the gift of discernment, you can easily divide a family just on those topics alone. However we take all of anything that's being said has a lot to do with what's on our insides. How we feed ourselves absolutely impacts how we resonate energy. So despite me going for a run today and doing as good as I could in this direct sun experience that I had, I couldn't help but feel the shared energy where some people might not have wanted to reach out to me to share anything with me, not even the information of their own siblings passing, my own relatives passing. So when I said I saw her going down the hill, I saw it in my dreams. I saw her take another pill. She killed the she killed the pain it seems. And when I continue on saying I'd love to be with you when you celebrate your life, but oh how I'll miss you when you run me through like a knife. The explanation of these words that I put into song is within the song itself. No one needs to decipher, what, I wonder what this means, what you're saying. I can't understand what you mean. No one needs to decipher when somebody doesn't care for us. It's easy to see when somebody will not make an effort to nurture us. For this reason, on this channel, I'm doing everything I can to present what I believe is nurturing. Nature is nurture. And if nature is on the decline, and if nature needs nurturing, it might be up to us to have a conversation. And as far as when it's appropriate for us to have a conversation or to meet one another, well, one time I was at a previous funeral where another one of my elders said it best. We should make time to get together. Not just every so often at a funeral such as this. And everyone applauded that thought. Everyone agreed in unison because it's true. So in this era, this may be the only way that we're able to gather in any kind of FaceTime whatsoever anymore. This is a heavy topic. I hope that you enjoyed the song. That wasn't obviously a mastered song. It was just, I thought, you know, it was just me singing as best as I can and playing this guitar as best as I currently can while telling you a story from memory as best as I can. 
of something that I just came up with from my heart while asking for direction in terms of how do I present this to my loved ones? And this is the best I could come up with at this time. The more I play, the better I'll get at it. The more I run, the better I'll get at it. The more I drive into the direction of my health, I've noticed that the further the divide becomes between those who want that wealthiness, who want that wealth, who want that health, and my own self. The person that I have, the entity that I have to communicate with more and more frequently is the higher power. So for those of you who are listening to this from start to finish and who are understanding, those of you who aren't just making those occasional comments that have really nothing to do with the overall intended hopeful results of this, of this type of message, Hopefully you've both heard and hopefully those comments in the comments area are now among yourselves and not directed at me trying to tell me something about something that's irrelevant. Maybe the comments aren't trying to continue to coerce me to figure out what big platform I can share this on to get, you know, a bunch of subscribers. I don't want someone to subscribe who's not going to watch, who's not going to help, who's not going to share information. Sharing is caring. And if you don't want to share, you might have an overly entitled upbringing that you may want to reevaluate. Or you might have come up with nothing and so you're fearful of sharing anything because it may never come back to you. Well, guess what? This day itself may never be something that you can experience again because this may be the last day that you yourself experience. I tell myself, I tell myself that all the time. I never know how long I've been put here for. But I do know the purpose that I was put here for. And for right now, until we have the ability to communicate without getting upset, this is about the best that most of my loved ones might see of me going forward. So if you're on this channel and you feel like well, you're my family and you want to encourage me into a different direction saying, man, I love your wildlife segments. Can you post that? Or, oh, I love that one song. Can you play that? Or can you master that? Well, go ahead and enter those into the comments. Because whoever I'm supposed to talk with, I believe is reaching out to me already. And whoever I'm not supposed to talk with is not going to be going out of their way to reach out to me. That's called the law of attraction. That's called divination. That's called discernment. Speak your truth. It will set you free, but it may not set other people free. And there may be entire segments of people that want to silence you. So, I hope that you understand what I'm saying. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, for listening, for providing helpful feedback, and for sharing positive energy. Until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.